On Victoria's windy southwest coast, giant wind turbines rise above the sleepy hills. Australia's largest wind farms are nearing completion. The Warbler Wind Farm, we're very proud to say, is going to be the largest renewable power project in the Southern Hemisphere, and 192 megawatts and 128 turbines. It'll deliver approximately 650,000 tonnes of CO2 saving, uh, and it'll supply a town about the size of Ballarat. Uh, with that will come an enormous expansion of this business, and we've grown it now to, uh, we've probably got in excess of 200 people working and associated with the wind and we see that going to probably three to four hundred um, in the coming years. Keppel Prince is the engineering company tasked with building, delivering and maintaining the wind turbines on several Victorian farms. We've taken butchers and bakers and fishermen and farmers and um, we've converted them into welders, blasters, painters, uh, vehicle operators that, that what you see here has been built by those people and there is very, very small amount of tradespeople that are actually working on this work. So we're all trained on the job. I mean, people do feel good about what they're doing and, uh, I mean, you could talk to all of our employees and they're quite excited about the opportunities that stand before them and, and uh, they do feel good about what they are producing. Around Portland, 120 wind turbines will produce enough power to run 120,000 homes. That means 800,000 tonnes of greenhouse gases won't be pumped into the atmosphere every year. That's the equivalent of taking 1,800 cars off the road. The local community was initially split when the first wind turbines were built around Portland back in 2000. But recent surveys show nearly 90% are now supportive. For an opportunity to, uh, uh, within the Shire, to um, promote uh, green energy, uh, to make a contribution to uh, carbon uh, uh, pollution reduction programs and also uh, obviously uh, the prospect of uh, a great number of people being employed in manufacturing componentry for the uh, wind energy sector. Jeff White is the local mayor who approved the region's first turbine. He believes councils play an important role in developing renewable energy. It's an extremely important role and it's becoming more relevant as, as every day goes by because of the issues that surround uh, climate change globally. For Akiona, the company behind the new Warborough wind farm, developing renewable energy is a team effort. And, and I see wind power and our work on the land as a real partnership between what we do and what the community has to, do, to offer and what the people on the land want to do. And so that we all have a common view and a common vision of what renewable power means for rural communities.